loose cord. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I hope that one is going to work for you all. Yeah. Testing, one, two, testing. <laughs> okay. Put it back where it went, found. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I want to welcome you, and I've been working on this on the, to the Hotel California. Um, <laughs> I've been afraid I was going to say that, so I thought I'd go ahead and get it over with, um, tell what age I grew up in. But uh, we do welcome you tonight to the Hotel Bethlehem presentation that our children's choir will be uh, performing here in just a few moments. They have been working literally for months uh, to bring to you this special program tonight, and we are honored that you have come, and I know that you're going to be blessed by a very special program and by some very special kids. And many of you already know they're special kids because they're yours uh, or they're your grandkids or something like that. But uh, we are so proud of our children, our children's choir here at First Baptist. And we welcome you here tonight. And we know there are folks watching by television tonight, this evening as well. And we welcome you folks too. Uh, let me just share with you that following uh, the presentation tonight, we will be having our annual birthday party for Jesus. If you're a guest, you may not be a uh, understand what that involves is just we're going to be uh, bringing out a birthday cake and singing happy birthday to Jesus and some of our folks will be bringing forth gifts that will be playing here on the uh, the altar and these will be given to needy children in our community through CCM so uh, immediately following that we're going to be going downstairs for cake and refreshments or sandwiches and drinks and, and, and everyone's welcome and we hope that you will stay and, and plan to join us for a time of fellowship downstairs following tonight's service let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll turn it over to our children Heavenly Father, we thank you for this very special evening and this very special season. We thank you that tonight we can come to this place and hear the good news brought to us in a fresh and wonderful way by our children. We thank you for all the hours they and their leaders have put into their preparation and pray that you would bless that preparation tonight as they sing for us and share with us the good news. We thank you that you so loved the world long ago. You gave us your son, Jesus Christ. And I pray that tonight we will sense his presence and feel his love in a very special way. And I pray that in his name. Amen.
friendly place to stay. My expertise is guaranteed to every visitor, and you may even see me sweep the floor. That you'll reward me with a tip. That brings us to the stable boy who works in just the head. Today he will be acting as ballet. We are a team to bring you joy as you can please your shape. We know you may be one you cannot wait. Welcome to Hotel Bethlehem, where service is provided with a smile. We Stay perfection, we will treat you with affection. in all the land. Hotel Bethlehem. We're the only hotel in Bethlehem. Don't you two have something to do? Right, boss. Yes, sir. We Welcome to Hotel Bethlehem. We are so honored to have you as our guests. I'm Phoebe of Perea, and I'm from the East. You do know I'm a famous fashion designer. By the way, where did you get that jacket? Caesar Augustus's yard sale. We're glad to have you join us. Bellman, front and center. Yes, sir. Gather this kind lady's bags and take them to her room. Yes, sir. Now, who's next? Howdy, folks. I'm Sam the Samaritan. I came from way out west with my ex on the dotted line. It's taken me quite a spell to get here, Bouts, because I've been stopping along the way helping folks out of ditches. This is bringing in the worst breed of people. A Samaritan. I can't believe he'll be staying with us. I don't recall ever having a Samaritan stay with us. Usually the Samaritans stay in Samaria. Well, I'm not here because I want to be here. I was born in Bethlehem. My family moved out west searching for riches. I definitely like the odd sandal. Yeehaw, I'm starving. Where can a body get some grub around here? Chef. Yes, sir. Get our guests from the west some food. Yes, sir. <coughs> I'm dressed. 
Jerusha of Judea. I traveled to Bethlehem from the south. We're glad to have you join us just down here to register. Certainly. Would you like a room with desert side view? That would be simply marvelous. I believe a desert side view is all that's available in this hotel. Hello, welcome to Hotel Bethlehem. Hey you guys, I'm Gab the Galilean. I'm the world renowned donkey transportation factory. Here's one of my business cards. I was just noticing that those Hotel Lima donkeys look a little run down. You might want to consider replacing them. I'll keep that under consideration. Do you have someone who can park my donkey? We gladly provide a valet service. Our valet is out sick, but we have a substitute sending in for him. Stable boy, see to our guest donkey. Here's the runs. Now this is a lot of horsepower for a kid your size. Just don't <coughs> run him too fast. Might give him a quick brush and a rub down. I like my donkeys to shine. Yes, sir. Just sign here to register. Sure will be great funky with you folks. I don't know what you're so happy about. This is all so ridiculous. I know. I was right in the middle of the tulip season when Caesar sent down his decree. <laughs> well, that's nothing. <coughs> I was just about to make the biggest sale in my life. I went a bit on the Roman government project and was just about to fill the donkey order when good old Caesar put a stop to myself. We here at Hotel Bethlehem realize your inconvenience and are, are ready to make your stay as comfortable as possible. Yes, you count to Caesar, but you also count to us. All this counting is giving me a headache. When will it ever stop? My name is Phoebe. I am from the east. Oh, where'd you get that dress? I need to find a good musician because my hair is such a mess.
Just remember, my staff and I are always at your service. Your wish is our command. Now, everyone get busy with your chores while I attempt to balance these books. I'm exhausted. I'm sure I've carried at least 100 pounds of luggage up those stairs. Me too. All this cooking is making me lose my appetite. We've made every bed, washed every dish, and beat every rug. I'm losing my voice yelling for all those taxis. But don't you think it's fun to have guests filling our hotel from all over the world? Guests who are in a bad mood and don't know the meaning of the word polite. Come on, everyone. This is all so exciting. There's a special something in the air. I just have a feeling that the world is about to change. Big time. That sounds a little strange, coming from a mere stable boy. Well, I learned a long time ago that God is making good things happen all around. God's miracles are everywhere. I am a simple stable boy, as you can plainly see. The donkeys and the hay are my responsibility. It's not the greatest job you'll find in town, but I don't ever let it get me down. I try to work for good in all I see, the miracles that God has sent to me. See the stars are shining in the heaven, they twinkle. Attention everyone, we need to have a quick staff meeting. I've got the staff. That's enough. Everyone gather around. I am very happy to say for the first time in history of all Be Hotel Bethlehem, we are completely full. And who knows, there could be a bonus in the works for employees who give an extra effort. Excuse me sir, we still have one little problem. There's still people coming to Bethlehem. What should I tell them when they come to the door? Tell them we simply have no room. Doorman put out this sign saying, no vacancy. And do your best to keep away the drifters. Yes, sir. Now I'm off to a board meeting.
Oh, what a bonus! I can feel that gold burning in my pocket right now. Oh no, here comes someone. I just know it was you. I'll handle this. Just watch a true professional do his job. Excuse me, sir. May I help you? Yes, my name is Joseph. Mary and I have traveled many days from the city of Galilee to register here in Bethlehem. I don't even know. I left her at the edge of town resting while I tried to get a room for the night. I'm sorry, sir, but as the sign clearly states, we have no vacancy. We're completely full. You'll have to look somewhere else. And anyway, it's not covered in dust, and we're never fitting with art. Achoo! Achoo! I'll handle this. No loitering. Move along. But you don't understand. <coughs> Mary's with child. She must have room. I can sleep anywhere, but she needs a soft, warm bed. Her baby Jesus is due any time. I believe you've heard me. There's simply no room. No room for you, Mary, or this baby Jesus. in front of Hotel Bethlehem. You might want to make a reservation next time. Some people just have to learn to take no for an answer. We certainly don't need to make an exception for a carpenter. <laughs> he probably doesn't even have the word tips in his vocabulary. But let's get back to our work. Remember, we are working for gold. 
So you walk all the way from Galilee? I walk with Mario, my donkey. Oh, you have a donkey? I really like animals. I am the stable boy and acting valet for this hotel. That's very interesting. I'm sorry if I seem distracted. I'm just worried I won't find a place for Mary. Are there any other hotels in town? I'm afraid not. This is it. Do you know of any other place? No, I'm sorry. There's simply no, no other place. What am I to do? Well, when I am worried and afraid, I pray. God makes hope when it seems all is lost. That's a good idea. A love that will stay when the mountain seems too high and the river way too wide. There's a hand that is waiting to lead you to the other side. Never forget there is hope. Never forget. that is warm and dry and fairly clean where you can stay the night. Go get your wife and come to the stable behind the hotel. Thanks so much. I'm off to get married. Attention, everyone. I have just received the go-ahead from the hotel management to give you all your bonus. Here's a gold coin for each of you. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Great. I can see myself now in a new sports coat. And I'm getting a new apron, maybe even my pink. I can order a new cart. No more aching backs. Where have you been, my boy? You about missed out on your bonus. Sorry, sir. I was in the stable. Just don't spend it all in one place. Thank you, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Can I help you? Yes, I need some towels and some of those little bottles of frankincense and myrrh. And I was looking for the pool. Is it open this time of year? No, I'm sorry the pool is closed. You might want to browse the hotel gift shop. 
I just been to the Bethlehem Mall and I came across a sale at the Old Wavy and bought all of these lovely fashions at half price. Howdy, folks. I just spent my day at sightseeing. I came, I found these here little statues of scissors to take home to my youngins. Hey, by the way, you have a spare room key? I'm afraid I locked mine in my room. Of course. We are at your service. Good morning, sir. I hope you're finding our accommodations to your liking. Do you got a copy of the Bethlehem News and World Report? Of course, with our compliments. By the way, there's a bright light shining in my hotel window last night. Seems to be coming from above the stable. I saw that light too. It was shining so bright, I could not sleep. I believe it was a star. I think you're right, but it's like no star I've ever seen before. I spent many nights outside and I never saw a star that bright. I'll let someone check this out immediately. Stable boy, go to the stable and see what's going on. Then come back and report to me. Yes, sir. Excuse me? We're here to see the Christ show. What are you talking about? You know, the Savior's a baby. There are no babies registered here. You must be mistaken. No, I don't think so. You see any angels in this. Why are you following the star? It's simply an amazing story. Jesus. For the last for the last time, there are no babies registered here. Excuse me, sir. 
Stable boy, did you find the source of that light? Yes, sir. It was coming from above the stable. It seems when the baby was born last night, the star appeared. Baby? What baby? The baby in the stable out back. You see, sir, there was a man who came looking for a room yesterday. Are you talking about that carpenter? Yes, that's the one. But I sent him away. I know someone in trouble. A different man, to say the least. A two. A Anyway, I let me and Mary stay in the stable last night. And guess what? Mary has a new baby boy named Jesus. All I know is that you've given this a room to this family without my permission. This will cost you your bonus. Give me the coin. Enough of this foolishness. I have a hotel to run. Now can you take us to baby Jesus? We're so excited about baby Jesus. We want to worship you. Can we go too? Sure. Come on, everyone. Follow me to baby Jesus. Aren't you coming? You do remember, I'm American. I'm probably not welcome. Come on, everyone is welcome to meet Jesus. Into our world one glorious night Came joy so amazing He gave us His light A vision of peace What a wonderful sight Jesus our Savior was born on this night. Away, away, he came to this world to make a way. Today, today, invite him to stay. about this child. Hey, could you please get my bill? Yes, I need mine too. I'll be checking out. Yep, I'm packing in my gear too. Bell man, could you help me with these bags? Where are all of you going? Checkout time isn't until 11. We've witnessed a great thing and we'd like to tell our families and our friends. I'm off to Jerusalem to tell my brother for the good news. The king is born. A king to the Jews, the Greeks, and the Samaritans. Even a king to you. To me? 
Things will forever be different. We've just met Jesus. you to baby Jesus. You'd do that even though I took away your Christmas bonus? Believe me, I have a better Christmas bonus. Shouldn't I give him something? Just give him your love. About 2,000 years ago, Jesus came to the earth. He came to be the Savior of the world. Jesus is still the same today. Jesus is standing at the door of your heart knocking. Open your door to Jesus. Give him your love. He'll bring you new life, new love, <laughs> new life, new hope, and new joy.
and be seated for just a moment. We are so very proud of our children and kids. Thank you so much for a wonderful, wonderful job tonight. And I know some of these kids have actually been sick this weekend. And, and I know at least one of them, Thomas, said he made a big sacrifice. He had to get a big shot. He said, right in the butt. And uh, Thomas, we appreciate that. And, and the rest of you are on drugs tonight. Thank you so much for, for, uh, for coming out. Wonderful presentation. And Kim, why don't you go ahead and come up? I know you had uh, something you wanted to say to the, some of these folks.
I am so impressed. God has truly been working in this room tonight. Amen, I'm telling you. Um, we wanted to take a moment and thank the people who put their heart and soul into this besides these kids behind you. Um, Patsy, you might as well move on down here if you don't care. Uh, this, we have a group on Thursday nights of the first Thursday of the month at meet called Secret Service. And they do little extra special things for people in the church. And they don't always tell what happens. And this past Thursday night, Nicole and Gwen McQuarrie, Nicole Kaywood and Gwen McQuarrie are um, working with Secret Service. And they just do things to help people out or little surprises or cards. And you may benefit from that someday as well. But this Thursday night, they made something with their own little hands for the group of, of women who are just phenomenal and who, who spearhead this whole thing for months and months and get it ready. Um, all the artwork that you see is done by the most talented artist of our entire church, and that is Miss Patsy Smith. And we... You get... <laughs> And, his, and her wonderful husband, David, you know, who's part of the team and up there working the camera, also did the backdrop, did the, built all the, all the hardwood pieces, and Patsy did the painting, and we thank you, Patsy. Every year, Patsy has done this for us without question and without even really asking. She knows that, that we're going to be needing it, and she just does it. Also, um, Lisa Epperson who has been tremendous and such a help to this crew. And she, we actually have a present for Ellie, her daughter, because Ellie has been here too and has survived all the practices. So Nicole picked up something for Ellie as well. So thank you, Lisa. And the, what we consider the second in command of our church, who is Benita, our, our pastor's wife. Where is Benita? Where's Benita? Come here. <laughs> Benita, um, the sign language that you saw, Benita has taught these kids how to do that. And she is so phenomenal. And she's helped with so much and always here. And we thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. And the woman I consider have probably the only musical talent in this church, in this group of women, and in the praise team too, is Bonnie Daniels, who plays the piano. And you stand up, Bonnie, and work so hard, and work so hard to keep Kelly on key. And last but not least, mm, last but not least, the, the woman, you all have no clue what she does, but she does it as a passion, and I know that. Truly a gift from God is working with children. And truly a gift is someone who has a passion for it. And Kelly has a passion for it. And we've all stood in front of her and said, why in the world do you do this? And because she loves it and she loves these kids. And on behalf of everybody and the kids, Kelly Schaffner, we thank you. <laughs> Let me just say that this is not me that does this. I'm just doing what God tells me to do. These guys are the ones with the talent. So we thank you so much. And again, weren't they awesome? Appreciate Kim. Thank you. And all those thanks are certainly deserved. Just a couple of real quick announcements. Uh, Rick let me know tonight before the service that all the sweatshirts are in, our, our shirts that you've ordered, and they're all out lined up in alphabetical order again. Okay, we're glad Diana does that for him because Rick doesn't know the alphabet. Thank you, Diana, for helping Rick. So your shirts are in if you need to get your shirts tonight. Um, we have a wonderful children's program here in our church. I think you figured that out tonight if you didn't already know that. And one of the things we're going to be doing uh, here in a few months is taking our kids to a summer camp called Centric Kid. Uh, this will be, I think, their third year in a row we've done that. And if you, uh, it's for grades third through six. Is that correct? And if you have a child in that age group and uh, I think they would be interested, or you'd be interested in sending them to Central Kids, see either Kelly or Andy Woods, our associate pastor tonight, and they can give you some more information. There are some uh, flyers that are going to be around the church, and we'll be getting more information to you. But we wanted to go ahead and let you know that's coming up. In fact, sign-ups will take place in January for that. So if you want your kids to go to Central Kid, make sure and let us know as soon as possible. And then finally, we still need a few volunteers for our live nativity scene. That will be held next Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday night. And if you'd be willing to help us, we need a few folks for next Sunday night for sure. 
and I believe we've got a couple of openings still on um, Tuesday night as well. So if you can help us out, we sure would appreciate it. It's a wonderful way for us as a church to remind our community, all the people, and it's literally thousands that pass in front of Cumberland Avenue during that time and the real reason for the season. And it's one of those also things that you don't have to have any talent for. All you got to do is stand there. So uh, if you think you can do that, uh, please uh, let us know. Sign up tonight. See me tonight sometime after this is over, and, and we would appreciate that. The last thing we have tonight before we go downstairs for our, our, our meal or fellowship or whatever is is uh, we do want to bring a birthday cake out and sing happy birthday to Jesus. And uh, Herman's going to play that for us. And Herman, when you get through playing that, I'll ask you to keep playing something, whatever you want to play. And we'll ask those of you to bring your gifts forward and lay them up here before our children. These will be for the needy children in our community. But perhaps you didn't even know we were going to do that. And if you'd like to be a part of it, maybe you'd like to come and just offer some money and put it on the, the altar as well. And we'll give that to CCM, and they can help buy some additional gifts as well. So uh, I know some of you didn't even realize we were doing this tonight. But let's sing happy birthday to Jesus. Go ahead and bring your presence forward now if you would.